Hey guys, it's Hannah, and today I'm coming to you with my Christmas slash birthday book haul. So last year I filmed a video just like this right after my birthday and Christmas. Since my birthday is on December 24th, I always ask for books for both my birthday and Christmas, so I always get a lot around this time of year, and I like to film a haul to show all of them to you guys. So I had a wonderful holiday season as well as a wonderful birthday. I got so many great presents from some of my friends and my family, and I'm so, so grateful to all of them. I also got so many birthday wishes from all of you guys on Twitter and Instagram, and I cannot even tell you how much that meant to me. It was genuinely one of the best birthdays, if not the best birthday I have ever had. And that is all thanks to you all because you just made me feel so happy and so special on that day. And I'm forever grateful to you all for that. But I have like 20 plus, maybe 30 books to show you guys here. So without any further ado, I'm not gonna spend too much time talking about each one of them. So let's just get into the haul. So these first few books I have to show you guys were given to me by one of my very best friends. And she is also a bookish person and she loves reading too. So she got me three wonderful books and the first two are these gorgeous editions of like the Madeline books. I don't know if you guys watched this TV show or read these books when you were a kid but I was obsessed with Madeline. All I really remember about her story was that she was this French girl who went to an all-girls school in France and she just went on adventures and there was just like stuff about her life and I just remember loving these so so much and she found these two gorgeous editions. This is just like the original Madeline and this is Madeline in London and they're so so beautiful. So I'm just so excited to get through these super quickly and enjoy them because it's just gonna take me back to my childhood and I already feel really nostalgic. The last thing that she got me is this gorgeous gorgeous edition of one of my all-time favorite books and this is probably one of my favorite things I received this whole year and it is the Franklin Library edition of Wuthering Heights by Emily Bronte. So Wuthering Heights is probably my favorite classic of all time. I adore this book and this edition is just so so gorgeous. I am so in love with it. It has gold pages and I can't get over how beautiful it is. I am in love with it. I have an edition of Sherlock Holmes, if you can see it right back here, that is also the Franklin Library edition. So this one matches that really nicely and I am just so in love with it. I honestly just can't stop staring at this book because it's so, so beautiful. And I already own another copy of Wuthering Heights, which should be like right up there on my shelf. Um, but now I have two and they're both equally gorgeous and I'm so excited to give this book a reread next year. All right, so this next book was given to me as a gift from from Roxy from the Novel Sanctuary here on booktube. She is one of my best booktube friends. I've mentioned her in a video before and we exchanged Christmas presents this year and she got me this copy of Bone by Ursa Daly Ward. It is a poetry collection and I've already read this and I really really enjoyed it. We've both been trying to get into reading some more poetry and we both buddy read this together so it was really really fun and I'm so grateful to her because she put together this whole package of just like stuff that I loved and I just want to show you guys one other thing that she gave me because I saw this and I like pretty much screamed. So it's this little bracelet with all these little charms on it and it's a night circus bracelet because it has like the circus tent right here, the red and black, this like star and moon and then it has like a little clock as well and it's so cute. I am so in love with this. I've like put it on my night circus shelf with all of my stacked books right now. So a huge thank you to Roxy. I am so grateful to you and I love you with all of my heart and I adore this bracelet with every fiber of my being. So these next books aren't technically actually a birthday or Christmas present. Um, these were given to me by one of my professors this last semester. She knew that I was a gender and women's studies major and she found some old books that she had and asked me if I wanted to take any of them home. So she just gave me a bunch of like women's studies and like feminist books. So I don't really know too much about each of these, um, but I'm just going to go through the titles and show them all to you. This first one I have actually heard of. This is The War Against Women by Marlon French. She's the author of The Woman's Room, which I've read like passages from in some of my other courses. This next one is Women in Intimate Geography. So I'm assuming this is about like female bodies and things like that. This next one I'm also super excited about and it's called The Other 50% Multicultural Perspectives on Gender Relations. I took a cultural anthropology course this past semester, so I've been super into culture and like multicultural perspectives and things like that and I think reading from that perspective through a feminist lens is also extremely important so this one is something that I'm really looking forward to. This next one is called Pro Reclaiming Abortion Rights so it's just about reclaiming abortion rights as the title says um, and I'm assuming it's mostly just set in the US and like US law and stuff so I think this is very relevant right now. And finally the last one that she gave me is No Turning Back The History of Feminism and the Future of Women 
and I really like the cover of this one. I think it's super cool. So like I said, I don't know too much about each of these books specifically, but she just had them and wanted to give them to me. And I didn't know where else to show these books to you guys, but I did want to show them to you because some people have been asking for some feminist lit recommendations, which is a video that I am working on. Um, but these are just some of the new feminist books that I've gotten recently in case you're interested in looking into any of these titles. Okay, so these next few things I have to show you guys aren't actually books. They're just like bookish related items. So a little while ago, Tanya, who runs a shop on Etsy called Sent Me Places, emailed me and asked me if she could send me some of her bookish candles so I could show them on my channel and review them. And I gladly said yes because I absolutely adore bookish candles. I think they are some of the coolest bookish items. I have a few around on my shelves. I think you can see one right there. Um, and I love them. They're just so, so cute. And the scents are just incredible. So when she reached out to me, I was so happy to show some of her candles on my channel. And she sent me three of them and they are so, so cute. So this one is the Telltale Lantern and it's like Edgar Allan Poe themed. And this one right now sits next to my poetry books and it's just adorable. I love it so much. I love the bottle that it's in and I love that it comes with like the little cork in it. It looks super vintagey and just adorable. And another one that she sent me, which is probably my favorite one, is Christmas at Hogwarts. This one also comes in like the same type of bottle with like the cork, but this one's green and then the tag is red and it's so cute. And this one smells incredible. It smells like Christmas trees, like piney and also like sweet. It's just so, so nice. And it definitely smells how I would imagine Christmas at Hogwarts to smell. And the last thing that she sent me are these little like samplers, I think. And it's um, Dumbledore's socks which is just the cutest thing in the entire world to me and then the sticker on the front is like a postcard which is adorable and it's like this lavender kind of color and this one smells like super fresh it smells kind of like laundry detergent in a way but like in a good way um, and just like really really clean so I love all of these I just think they are so so cute so I will leave a link to Tanya's shop in the description box it's called sent me places I love the name too I just think it's so clever and a huge thank you to her for sending these over my way I adored them and I'm so happy to be able Able to share her shop with you guys because I think she's doing fantastic work. This next thing that I have to show you guys is the last bookish item that I have and this was a gift to me from my sister and it is so cute. I honestly cannot stop staring at this um, but it's this set of Six of Crows bookmarks and it's each of the characters and I am so in love with this. So this is from Happy Hello Art and they are another Etsy shop which I will also leave linked down below but I have been admiring their bookmarks for so long now. I have a few of them that I've received in other subscription boxes boxes before, but they have so many great bookish character ones. And I saw these Six of Crows ones and I fell in love with them. And so my sister got them for me for my birthday and I just can't get over them. They are so, so cute. So there's Kaz, Inej, Nina, Matthias, Wylan, and Jesper. And I just, oh my God, oh my God, they are the cutest thing in the world. <laughs> All right, so this next book was a gift from my grandmother and it is this little book called You. And it's just like one of those inspirational, like motivational types of books. So it's just filled with a bunch of little quotes. It's like, you make a difference, helpful you, you embrace life wholeheartedly, enthusiastic you. It's just a bunch of little things like that. I love these inspirational quotes. I write quotes like everywhere and they definitely motivate me. So I think looking at this is going to be something that helps me a lot throughout the next year. And I'm so grateful to have it. And I just think it was like the cutest present in the world. So these next few books I actually bought with one of my friends because we went on a book shopping spree day as kind of like a Christmas gift to ourselves. And I bought three Three books that day. The first one is Slate House by David Mitchell. I am actually currently reading this right now. All I really know about this book so far from what I've gotten through is that it's about this house called Slate House and from what I can tell the house is like haunted by different ghosts or things and it's told in like multiple different stories so it's kind of like a novella but each story is connected because each of them is related to Slate House and that's all I really want to say because I feel like it's the type of thing you should go into without knowing anything about it because it's very mysterious in that way but I'm absolutely absolutely loving it so far. So this was a very, very good purchase. The next book that I got is A Man Called Ove by Frederick Bachman. I already have a copy of My Grandmother Asked Me to Tell You She's Sorry, which is Frederick Bachman's other book, but I think this was his first novel, or this is his more popular novel at least, so I really wanted to pick this one up 
because people have been saying that it's fantastic and I wanted to try it out for myself. And finally, the last of those books that I got is The Buried Giant by Kazuo Ishiguro. I honestly have no idea what this book is about. I've just seen this cover everywhere and it's just one of those books that I like picked up on a whim. So I decided to just like pick it up and try it out. And the only thing I really know about it is that it's historical fiction and I tend to enjoy historical fiction. So I'm excited to just go into it and try it out and see what I think without knowing a thing. The next books that I have to show you guys, I actually bought with like gift cards and things that were given to me for Christmas. So the first three books that I bought, I'm super excited about because they are the first three Avatar The Last Airbender comics, The Promise Part 1, Part 2, and Part 3. In my last haul, I mentioned that I got two of the Avatar comics. I think they're called Smoke and Shadow Part 1 and 2. But then after that video and after uploading it, I realized that those are like some of the last comics in the series and I have to read like everything else before I can get to those. So I decided to buy the first three comics so that I can get through these and then eventually read the rest. But I'm super, super excited about these because you all know how much I love Avatar The Last Airbender. It's like my entire life and I'm so excited for the story to continue on. So these next two books that I got are books that I've actually already read but I just didn't own and that is The Dream Thieves and Blue Lily Lily Blue by Maggie Steve Otter, books two and three in The Raven Cycle. If you've noticed on my shelf I only own The Raven Boys and The Raven King. I didn't own these two books because I borrowed them from the library when I first read them and now I finally have them because it's one of my all-time favorite series so I wanted to own all four books. And the last book that I bought for myself is another book that I am currently reading and that is Fangirl by Rainbow Rowell. I read Carry On earlier this year and absolutely adored that book and then I knew that I had to pick up Fangirl immediately afterwards but I never got around to picking it up until now and now I am buddy reading it with one of my friends because we both adored Carry On and now we wanted to read Fangirl together so I am making my way through it right now. I'm about like a hundred pages in so far and really really enjoying it and I cannot wait to finish this one off and see what I think because I have a feeling it's probably going to end up becoming one of my favorites. And finally the very last book I have to show you guys in this haul is actually Actually not one book but seven books and it's probably my favorite present that I received this year kindly from my mother because I've been dying for this for so long ever since the first time I saw it and that is the gorgeous gorgeous box set of the Harry Potter series yes I do own two full copies of this series already I have the original hardbacks and I have the original paperbacks but ever since I saw these editions that create this gorgeous spine of Hogwarts I have been wanting it so so badly so I asked for it for Christmas this year and my mom got it for me and I absolutely adore it and now it has a spot on my Harry Potter shelf and it looks so good and I'm just in love with it. I don't even want to take them out of the box because they look so pretty and perfect together and I don't want to ruin them but as many of you probably know I love collecting multiple editions of my favorite books because I love pretty books so whenever I find a new pretty edition of the Harry Potter books I'm definitely going to try and get my hands on it if I can so I am just so happy to finally have these and I'm so happy that they have a nice place on my shelf. All right guys but that is it for everything in my huge Christmas slash birthday book haul. So let me know in the comments down below if you have read any of the books that I mentioned in this haul or what your favorite book is that you got for either Christmas or Hanukkah or whatever you may celebrate or just a book that you bought recently for yourself that you really like and you're really excited about. If you'd like to follow me on any of my social media all of my links are in the description box as always but thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you had a very happy holiday and I hope you have a wonderful end of the year and I will see you in my next video. Bye!